Welcome, welcome, welcome to a Sunday Live. My name is Daryl, along with this guy over on this side. It's always the opposite on these cameras. <laughs> yeah, hi Daryl, how are you doing? Simon, how are you, my friend? Good, good. Yes, here I'm in my luxury office, so it's a little bit cold. I've got my my fleece on, trying to keep the uh, energy bills down, obviously at the moment. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, well. Apart from that, how are you doing? I'm I'm doing well, doing very well. Is there some truth to that? You really do have your fleece on to keep the energy bills down? No, the, just, uh... it's just freezing at the moment. It's oh, just been really wow. cold outside. So uh, I'm just, uh, yeah, keeping warm. Maybe I'm getting old. I think I'm catching you up, actually. So I'm getting a bit You're cold catching up to me? <laughs> yeah. <that's it. laughs> yeah, these these grays don't come without the uh, hardship. Yeah, that's for that's sure. It. So yeah, Long paper uh, rounds, yeah. Well, congratulations uh, uh, for uh, being here today because you folks are going to get some really great knowledge and great information uh regarding things like mass website builder uh seo things uh things about web flow which we're going to talk a little bit about today mm -hmm. um so it's all benefit to you thank you for being here thank you for sharing and liking the video if you're watching this on the replay uh do appreciate that as well anything new in your life this week i had the puppy last week and then this week it's just been learning how to be a parent puppy uh, a, pa a puppy, puppy parent, parent yeah yeah yeah, I don't know. I've got two dogs, so I've I've gone through all that, and I've got two kids, but they're both at university now, so I'm kind of past all that stage. But uh, yeah, it sounds like you've got a little bit I, more of that. I to, forgot uh, how much go. mischief they can get in in such yeah, a short yeah, yeah. period of time. No, they're, they're great. They're great fun, but yeah, sure. yeah, <laughs> they're like little babies on there. Yeah. And and our um our puppy <laughs> Olive is uh pitching these fights with the cat, which is like four oh, times no. bigger than her. Oh, That's no. how small she is. Yeah, she's, she's like, minute, isn't she? Yeah, tiny. Yeah, she's just a little pint. And um, the cat is just like, I, I'm just like, when is this going to end? Like, these two are his, she's, the cat is like hissing at her and all this crazy no, no. stuff. Ain't going to uh, end well. So, <laughs> so we're doing that. And then I tried to bring her to the office. Like I had a little setup for her to be here in the office the first few days because I want to make sure we were watching her, make sure we potty training, all that fun stuff. Yeah. And oh my gosh, I walk out of the office. Bark, 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 bark. And I'm yeah. like, there's people around here. I don't want that. You know? Yeah, you get you get thrown <laughs> out. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So that was uh that was one of the crazy things. But uh the adventures of adding a puppy to the mix. Uh if you ever want to, you know, <laughs> relive the joys and also the uh, you know the challenges, uh that that's yeah. a lot of fun. Oh, thank God. I'd have great. more, but uh, I've got two already, but uh yeah. yeah. We took him. We took her on the road many, trip yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Um, we drove uh, for about five hour drive round trip, and she did great. No, you know, getting sick or anything like that. We just took her out, and uh, she was doing good. So I'm, I'm really happy. Uh, so, um, like we were talking about uh, last week, we were joking about you know, kid puppies do lead gen for you. Um, yes. Maybe maybe I could uh, get this puppy to do some lead gen. Uh, so yeah, well, I'm I'm working on a carpet cleaning campaign. It does actually feature puppies because I just think like dog owners, yeah. you know, have a lot of mess, need the carpets <laughs> clean. So, so yeah, I'm going I'm going with that. I think it'll work. That's funny. That's funny. Awesome. Well, cool. thank you guys for being here. We're gonna do some check ins with some people that have dropped by. We got a, the first person, Nabla Nablia or Nabla, um, saying hi. We got L Couch saying hi. Good day. Uh, we have uh, Don saying cheers and hello, and we got Steven CX3P Social saying greetings, and greetings back to you, and Rackus SEO, thank you for being here as well. So thank you, thank you, guys. Um, we've got a domain giveaway that will be taking place later on. Um, I'm, I will upload the uh, domain list. I didn't do that before the show, and we were talking too much, but uh, I'll kind of show the uh, domain list here. You've got I a think... whole 55 minutes to get ready, Daryl, haven't you? So, you know, you'll, yeah, you'll, you'll, I... find, you'll find some time, you know. There you go. Woodflooringprices.com, <laughs> discountcleanup.com, quiz bonus back from last week, and waterheatingprices.com uh, are the domains that are up for grabs. Some definite good lead gen. And we're going to talk about lead gen mass page websites that um, look really compelling uh, when it comes to the idea of conversion like um uh, i think a lot of times with legion it's the balance that you need to strike between having the things on the page for seo um and also not turning off people right because it is that balance uh, how at the top of the fold you know that real estate is so important on a page and how is it that you give google what it's looking for as far as you know um 
the information, but then also make sure that you have something that the user will click around and spend time with and fill out the form with and things like that. So it's not a necessarily a conundrum because obviously user signals come first above everything else. So if you can build something that uh, users engage with, um, that's the best thing I think you can do. Um, but at the same point, you know, I think a lot of us have these ideas in our heads about SEO and keyword density and all of these kinds of things from years and years and years of playing the game with Google. And uh, so how do you fight that, right? How do you um, get the balance and trust the algorithm will figure out what your page is about without explicitly throwing in a stack of keywords in a pile, right? Uh, what are your thoughts on that, Simon? Yeah, it's definitely always the balance between getting people onto the, the page and then converting them. And sometimes SEO can put people off because if, if a yeah. page is just filled of keywords and it's it looks unnatural, it looks inauthentic and people don't want to trust their details or by making an inquiry or adding an email or whatever else. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a fine balancing act. And um, I think mass page is even more of a, a challenge because obviously a lot of the pages are going to have, uh, you know, repetition and, and, and themes and maybe some spun content as well. So you've got to make it look natural for people to, um, uh, you know, to convert. So yeah, it, we'll, we'll cover off a little bit this tonight, both, both in what I'm talking about and also what you're talking about as well. So it should be, could be a good discussion. Great. Well, welcome and thank you guys for being here. We always chit chat a little bit before we get started as people are kind of winding their way in here and uh, I'm getting my chair adjusted, ready for a program here together with you. Um, this is Sunday Live. We start this at five o'clock Eastern time, um, 10 o'clock BST, 10 I guess it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and all talking. over the world, uh, people watch. We have uh, viewers that tune in from Australia, from the UK, from the US, Canada, um, all over the place. And uh, we watch uh, so many different people watch on the replay uh, that you'll find on the various channels that we're on. As you can see uh, from our thumbnail, we're on Twitch, we're on Facebook, we're on uh, LinkedIn, Twitter. Twitter. All so a them. lot of different places. So even if you see only you know five or ten people listening, uh, all of these kinds of things come together. And uh, uh, we appreciate you spending some time with us on this Sunday to talk about and listen to uh, all of these various topics. So thank you for, for being here. All right. Uh, exciting week. Um, Simon, uh, get to play around with a thing that starts with W and ends with flow. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'll uh, let me put my... Uh slides up and then we'll have a bit of a, a chat about that so th this uh, i always like to do some slides as you guys know this is even more free form than normal uh, people last week said they liked a bit of free form so we'll see how it goes it may be completely incoherent it might not be let's just see how we go so um so i'm talking about mass page design using webflow yeah so look i'm not a web designer I, you know i've twiddled around with some wordpress templates i can make my way around Squarespace and Wix and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not a, a coder and I'm not a web designer yet. So Webflow is something that's pretty new to me. In fact, I hadn't really used it properly until yesterday. So uh, a lot of uh, learning. But I spent quite a few hours just playing around with something this weekend. So what I'm doing in these slides uh, when I have my slot is just talking about some experimental stuff. So the last three or four weeks, I've been talking about uh, AI content, spinning, um, different software and different techniques, making PBNs and stuff. So um, this week, we're going to talk about, yeah, page, page design. Yeah. So um, the, the question here is, can you make a mass page builder like Enterprise, which is something that Darren and I both use, a number of you use as well. And can you make it look like more of a local website? So <clears throat> the answer is thankfully yes for the purpose of these slides. <laughs> yes, it bad if it was bad if it was no. Um, mm. And Enterprise have launched a new fe feature, which I'm going to take uh, talk about. I mean, it's been around for uh, must have been six seven weeks, I think actually, but I've only really just got into it very recently. And um, just so everyone knows, Enterprise is a cloud based mass page builder. It can build millions and millions of pages, millions and millions of words of content using AI. Um, the out of the box template that comes with Enterprise, the, the, the page sign, is basically a blog, and I'll show you what one of those looks like in a second. But there's a new feature called Add Tools, and it allows you to add um, basically a, a fully uh, detailed um, page design template on a campaign level uh, to your to your um, your site, which is pretty uh, amazing. I hopefully I'll bring that to life when I show you what, what I'm talking about in a second. And um, it basically allows you to use Webflow or other uh, themes, but the Webflow is what I'm using as a designer 
to create a, a regular landing page. So let me just show you a couple of things. So I'll show you what a, a standard Enterprise site looks like. Uh, out of the box. And then I'll show you uh, how I can use Webflow templates to uh, shape and style that page. And then I'm going to show you um, how I've uh, made it look a little bit like a, a mass page site that I'm uh, aware of. We'll, we'll check in on that. So let me just uh, come out of this a second and let me go into this. So hopefully you can still see my screen and you can see how to house train an eight week old Boykin Spaniel Poppy in Michigan. <laughs> can you see that? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, so this is a, like a, on my test domain, goodblogs.net, and this is um, a Mentorprise campaign all about um, puppy training. Yeah, so uh, I'm just playing around with this. And if you use Mentorprise, you'll be familiar with this this format. So it always has the kind of name of the uh, page there, it has links to categories, and a lot of interlinking happens with Mentorprise. This is a spun or, or um, a, 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 a title that basically uses different variables to create things. So this is uh, different, and this is different too, and as is the breed of the dog. So there's all these things you can put into Enterprise, very clever, and it creates these different um, things. So I've got all these different questions. I've got a video. I've got images. I've got categories and stuff. So this is all great. But if you were – and if you are writing a blog about a puppy, this would be – Fantastic. But if you're writing mm -hmm. like maybe a more of a local site, like a plumbing site or um, carpet cleaning or something like that, a blog is not typically what people expect to land on. And I, I believe that people are less likely to convert from a from a blog like this, unless you've, you've got some links or something in here that is quite compelling, mm -hmm. compared to a, a regular kind of what they expect to see, which would be a plumbing, a plumbing site, like a lead gen plumbing site, which we've seen. So it's not doing doing down this format. I just I think for some things it's going to be more more appropriate. So if I um, think about um, uh, one of the sites I really like, which is a regular site, I don't believe it's made certainly not made on Enterprise. I don't think it's made on Magic Page, but we've talked about it before. It's called JROP.com. So this is um, what I think is the most successful mass page site that I've come across on my travels i'm not counting things like i don't know yellow pages or other stuff like that i'm just saying a, a a regular site and this is like number one in the towing niche but it's also got lots of different things for locksmiths jump starts all the rest of it yeah and when we reviewed this a couple of months ago it, it's actually it's a very nice site but it, and i'm not doing it down at all but it's a, a very simple site in some ways there's a significant amount of interlinking and the significant number of categories and when you go into the categories um the pages look very much like this. I mean, nothing wrong with it, but nothing particularly dynamic. I think you'd agree. It's got some interesting features like um, embedded um, text, which is unique to the page, uh, images. It's got a map. It's got um, information about the local area. It's got a video, the same video on every single page, even though it's like 100,000 pages and lots of links. Yeah, and we know this link. Uh, ranks very well because if I go into here and look in SE ranking, I mean, when I looked at this with you guys a few months ago, it was I was going, oh yeah, it's getting like you know three hundred thousand dollars a keyword value a month. You know, it's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's now on one point three, one point four million dollars. Uh, wow! Pound. Yeah, amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, and it ranks on seventy five thousand keywords and half a million estimated traffic. It's just it's just jumped up astronomically. It has a lot of backlinks, although the backlinks have not grown significantly over the year. They're pretty stable. Um, but when you look at it, you know, tow trucks near me, tow trucks, cars for junk. Ma wow. I mean, look at the vault. I mean, it's, it's an absolute beast. So if you ever want to look at um, a, a mass page sign, unfortunately, it's not my site. I wish it was mine. I probably wouldn't share mm -hmm. if it was mine. But um, if you try and backwards uh, reverse engineer it, when you go into the <clears throat> pages, um, and this is one for everyone that says duplicate content doesn't rank. What you'll find is this Albuquerque page. Uh, if you go into this, they, they, the, the text is the same apart from um, locations have been spun mm -hmm. and they do it quite a lot. I mean, you, you could say it's stuffed. It's certainly a very high density for Albuquerque. Uh, I'm just highlighting them here. And it goes down like here. So in the headers, in the text, they use a lot of bolds, which I think is helping them. They use bullets. And and that's it. But if I go into um, the, the the next one, I go into uh, Algodons, um, <clears throat> same format. And and if if you're in the same category, 
it's all the same. So uh, I'm not doing it, Dan. I think this is amazing. I wish I owned this site myself. But <clears throat> th th this is an example of mass page really working, delivering very significant volumes with a very simple formula, which is a lot of consistency in the headings and repetition of, of the keyword um, uh, location and and text. Yeah. So that's all all good. So <clears throat> why am I showing you this? Well, I, it's until Mentorprise released this new feature, it'd be very hard. Well, it'd be, it'd be impossible for me to create a styled page like this. I'd have to go to the one I just showed you before, which was my blogging page. And I think you'd agree it would be harder for me to convert uh, a towing website with with this kind of format. It's just mm -hmm. not what people expect to see. So um, let me go in this. So in this new function with um, uh, call, uh, what I'm now going to flip over is to Webflow. What I can do is I can um, choose from one of the many Webflow templates. I can build my own from scratch, or there's some wireframe ones, and there's also some free ones. There's some purchase ones that I've got there, and I can choose lots of different designs. And actually, I can take this image. Um, this design, so here's one here, and I can actually apply it to Mentorprise um, on on the the campaign page, and then obviously if I go through it and then change some of the variables, <clears throat> and remember if I, I look at JROP, I don't need to change actually a lot of the variables because a lot of this text can be the same and still rank because we know we've just showed you a uh, a site with one and a half million dollars worth of monthly keyword value, but if I can go through this and convert it and put in the, the headers and use some of the variables in Enterprise and some of the Enterprise content to put into it as well, I should hopefully have a good recipe for a mass page site. Um, so if I go into here, I'm going to I'm going to get to the point soon. Um, so <laughs> it's so, good. You're good. This is yeah, good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You will. But, but um, you know, I get on a roll, and you know, um, let me uh, take, take yeah. your time so, on this one because this, this is uh, really good stuff. Yeah. Cool. So look. So here's here's a design. Yeah. And if you have a paid subscription to Webflow, you can change all all this around. Well, you know, you can change it for free anyway. But if I put in like some variables that I know are programmed into my Mentorprise campaigns, uh, when those go in, <clears throat> I can you know, start building a page. And this is actually very similar to, if any of you are familiar with Magic Page plugin, this is a kind of similar thing. You take an existing website design, you take some of the um, variables, and you, you change them, and you create your, your Magic Page. So this is kind of what we're doing now with, with Mentorprise, but able to use the styling, which is cool. So what I do here is I... Uh, Export the code. You've got to have a paid subscription for this, which I think is something like twenty dollars a month for the uh, platform to be able to do the editing. And then you zip it up, and it takes all of this information. And then you press download. Now I've already downloaded and uploaded it into Mentorprise, so I'll basically flip over and and show you what I've been uh, uh, doing. So if I go into my campaigns here, um, I I can basically take that code. So if I go here. This is the new feature here, extra tools. And this is really quick, actually. So if, you, if I get demo code, it just basically uploads it. That's all uploaded. And then what I can do, I'm not going to do, but the, when I import this, the images are not going to be there because obviously the images are hosted elsewhere. But what I can do, which is really cool, is replace all these images with my own links to, to replicate the design. So I could, I could copy that was already there, or I could put something else in, like my client's logo, my logo, my images, whatever. Or, and we haven't tested this yet, but I'm hoping we can um, test this with ImageFly. We might be able to put in ImageFly links as well to be able to um, create them. And and then we get the script. And because Mentorprise is, is uh, cloud-based, we basically just can just go into this um, uh, campaign, paste it all here. <clears throat> And then when you press update, that's it. No. <laughs> that's it saying mm -hmm. a 401. Okay, well, I don't know why that I've got time to work out that is it. It worked uh, half an hour ago. Um so anyway, basically if you go into that, it'll it'll paste in the, the design. Yeah. So if I um just show you let's just I'll have to refresh this now. There we go. <laughs> What did you say, Daryl? Never yeah, do. Yeah, never uh, test anything live. Yeah, never <laughs> test anything <laughs> never live. live. <laughs> Believe me, I'll probably screw up something too. Don't worry about it. Oh, um, dear. Uh, you know, it's funny too because a lot of these things uh, leverage the browser. Like our, yeah. our stuff leveraged the browser as well. 
And so um, it doesn't matter because I've got it all yeah. ready anyway. It doesn't matter, but look, yeah. it, um, fine. So look, it, so if we um, imagine we had that design now, if we go back to what I was talking about before, what I was going to show you is I've actually been trying to copy the JROP landing page because I know the format works. I know it ranks on hundreds of thousands of keywords. So I was playing around with it earlier on, and um, what did I put it in? Uh, I think it was in one of these. <laughs> I recreated it. Is this it? Yeah, here we go. So look, the exercise I was just talking to you about. So I basically went, I spent a couple of hours on this earlier on, so it doesn't all work, but it's it, you'll get the idea. So I put in the Mentorprise short codes. I put in the, the, the J-Rock phone number and, and whatever else. And I put in some of the icon. I haven't matched the colors up, but bear, bear with me. I'm not a web designer. And I put in all their text and I put in in city, in city. So that's obviously going to be the, in Albuquerque the things that we saw. So what I'm trying to show you is, we can create a, a page now that's very much like JROP in Mentorprise in a way we couldn't do before. So, so this is what the code looks like in the back end. I've I've changed some of the images. So there's the map. Mm -hmm. We saw the map. I've been able to recreate that. Put a flag in. Mm -hmm. I've been able to put a video placeholder in. They had a video, and these links are still JROP links. But again, I'm just showing you what it looks like. And I was able to put in these these logos. So, you know, it wasn't. Uh, I didn't spend all that much time on it, but. It shows you that you can get fairly close to a, a local landing page just on this new method uh, in, in a couple of hours. And I've had a bit more time to be able to make it a little bit better. So if I go back over to this where I know I've loaded up already, here we go, Carl Locksmiths. Um, so this is what's been brought forward. Now, I've, I've not been able to fix the image in there, but the header, but if you saw on the original design, it had like a kind of a guy working on a car before, but I'll, I'll fix that. But there you go. There's the... Um, there's that there. And I'm going to put JROP on the screen. <clears throat> I'm not suggesting to you guys copy JROP. I'm not trying to do JROP down. I think it's fantastic. I'm just using this for the purposes. It'll be it'll be deleted afterwards, but it's just to basically show the principle. So here's um, my site. Here's the JROP site. So you see I've got the kind of key uh, elements in, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then there's the text there, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. I'm hoping that ImageFly will be able to help me with this um, image overlay soon. I know Daryl's working on that. So wait, how did you do that image overlay? Was it just... No, uh, that's theirs. Just... I haven't done it. I haven't done it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, ImageFly. We could actually throw that Yeah, in. you could yeah. do this. Yeah. So yeah. I think that will be straight in, which is great. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, Mentorprise handles links automatically. So these would all mm -hmm. be linked in uh, as well. Uh, and then, you know, uh, I've not been able to replicate everything, but, you know, many of the things are are very similar you know i'll fix that image there's the mm -hmm. the video so i'm just saying with a bit of effort you can make it look right so that's totally different and actually here's the enterprise content here which i'd again restyle but i can that's hide it if i want to so look I, there's a tab so you can hide mm -hmm. the enterprise stuff behind the tab if you want to if you want to show this is all ai generated stuff um and then you get to the bottom so so that's you know that's way of basically using webflow now this is just the design I made up, but the one I sh was trying to download and show you from a, a professional, you could carry that styling over. And once you'd linked up all the images, I think it would look like a very impressive landing page. The Webflow designs mm -hmm. are, are very modern and uh, the thing just goes goes straight in. So you see all of it um, uh, in the full design, which is pretty, pretty impressive. Nice. So... So that was it. So, so yeah, so that's, uh, I'm, I'm not going to try and uh, go back into Enterprise Publishing after it, uh, mm -hmm. my browser crashed, whatever happened there. But it was just to make the point that whilst you may have, you know, this kind of um, blog format on Enterprise, you can now actually create a landing page. And I think that there's an interesting thing of, of, uh, of an opportunity is that you can now make it like a fully branded client site. So this could mm -hmm. be their logo, all their colors, all their links, their images. And I think um, this could be, you know, fully, completely styled up. So anything you can do in Webflow, uh, mm -hmm. if we go, go back, um, any of these different designs that you can choose from, and there's, there's hundreds, you can, um, you can just put straight in there. So they've got like, in my opinion, very, very modern uh, designs and they've got loads of them, you know, so you can take your pick. So, so I think it's very exciting from a, um, a mental price point of view, a mass page point of view that you can have something that's going to look, you know, it's going to look like this um, as a, as an example, I'll just load this up here and with all the animation and everything else will be all carried over. 
but in a mass page format. And I think that's really uh, compelling. And uh, once I get a bit more time, I can test some stuff. It'll do all this. So all these things here it can carry over, which I think is pretty amazing, really. Absolutely. So should yes. convert more. Do you think it's going to convert more? Well, I, like I do this? think, yeah. and it gives you the flexibility. Um, you know, I mean, Mentorprise, I still say, is very new because there's really mm. nothing quite like it that I've ever seen mm. as far as the scaling that you could do. Um, yeah. So the idea that you can actually take the web flow, um, you know, uh, power of that um, and, uh, and it, you know, that you can go ahead and um, uh, make it more attractive and mm. also have mass page elements. That's sort of the, the, the best scenario, right? Obviously. Mm. Um, so, um, yeah, so it's very cool. Very cool. Good job. Yeah, very um, cool. Yeah, yeah. I think, and I think a lot of other people are saying anybody, we yeah. got some highs, got some good long tail keyword. Can Webflow create static pages, HTML? Yes, that is like the main reason Webflow exists mm. is to create static web pages. But by pulling it in, put into um, Mentorprise, uh, you can have non WordPress websites that are mass pages. Okay. Mm. And I'm going to talk about MWB, which is also the same kind of thing is they're non WordPress sites. Now this gives you guys a lot more options than just having to deal with the, the limitations and the maintenance of WordPress uh, when you're dealing with, you know, sort of a lot of different um, web pages, right? Um, everybody wants to have, the, the power of mass page, but you don't want the headaches of, of WordPress all the time. Mm. And if anybody uh, wants to say an amen to that, <laughs> let us know because um, I, yeah, that's why I've been, that's why I bought uh, MWB. So I could actually um, offer this to you guys, you know, because I really think that, you know, WordPress is, is good, but I don't know. I mean, when you have hundreds and hundreds of websites, I think it starts to become, uh, almost like too much overhead hmm. you know yeah so so yeah it, i mean that's yeah webflow you you can you can take webflow and host it on on webflow you can pay extra and have it there or you can export mm -hmm. it all and and yeah use it on a, a, another platform and on in this case you can basically put the template into mentorprise you could put it into another platform and just has it have it as a static pa page or uh, you can mm -hmm. have it in this and have it as a dynamic or dynamic variables through through mass page so yeah and i think also um mentorprise supports different pages as well so you can add custom pages and i think you're gonna be able to style them as well so i think it, over time it's going to be possible to have an about page a contact me page you know mm -hmm. regular pay regular pages that are not mass pages alongside your mass page dynamic pages so yeah i think it's pretty exciting but this is you know sort of hot hot off the press Nice. Um, what did somebody just say? We just uh, an exporter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can, yeah, you can export it from Webflow to, mm -hmm. and then then you import it into Enterprise. You can't export it from Enterprise. No, if that's what your question is. Can Enterprise mm. also create these mass pages in HTML? You can't get it. At, you know, you can't take it out of Enterprise. No. I mean, you can get the you can get the uh, you can get the code out of um, Webflow, yeah, but you can't mm -hmm. export from Enterprise now. Nice, cool. Okay, cool, awesome. Well, thank you for that presentation. Anybody else have any questions? Feel free to jump in here. Um, so, yes, uh, Don is correct. Yeah, the maintenance price to deal. Uh, with WordPress, uh, there is definitely a price to that. And I mean, especially with all that's going on in the world, WordPress has always had a lot of vulnerabilities because of all these plugins. And so like, if you can get away from the plugin world and into like, you know, straight code uh, and make sure your PHP and all these kinds of things on your server are up to date, you're going to be, I think, in better shape. Um, ImageFly is going to help you with SEO with the images. Um, we can talk a little bit more about that um, as well. Um, and uh, this is a good transition to also show in contrast um, Mass Website Builder and what it, what it can do as well because it's uh, drag and drop, um, similar to how you can do with Webflow. Um, but you can also, we're going to have a way that you can use Webflow into Mass Website Builder as well. So, um, all right. 
Great. I was going to say, <coughs> going to say also, yeah, just one of the one of the things is when you apply that campaign. If you've got mm -hmm. a campaign with say fifty thousand pages in the campaign, we paste in the new Webflow code. It's there instantly across all fifty thousand. I mean, it really is. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes thirty seconds or something to apply. So. Um, you can also replace things, move things around, um, replace text and stuff. So it's, it's it's a pretty flexible thing compared to some other things. If you're exporting everything static, you might have more challenges, I guess, uh, doing mm -hmm. it in that way. But, you know, pros and cons, horses for, for courses, I guess. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, Lyok's just said, we, 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 yeah, I mean, um, we can't go over that uh, all, all just yet. But obviously, we've been talking about mass page building and making styled pages on Enterprise. But uh, probably best to catch you on the... Uh, on the replay uh, just to be able to do it justice i think but uh yeah hope that helps yeah we um so anybody that's kind of just joining from the outside world um we basically talk about uh different techniques to get organic traffic with on page um you know abilities and things like that um we we call it the mass page world um my website is mass.page and the community is about um basically everything from my products to Simon's uh, products and service, uh, services uh, where we're helping people um, to get more traffic that they don't have to pay per click for all the time. And so that traffic can turn into leads and all of that great stuff. So um, we also talk about domains a little bit on here. So um, awesome. Well, thank you, Simon. I really appreciate that. No worries. Um, so um, next, I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about uh, Mass Website Builder and uh, had some really good things happen this week. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm going to let's see if I can pull up the um, seems like I've got too much going on here on this tab. Let's see, view this tab and stream yard. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can uh, do this properly here. What is this tab, Mass Website Builder? It's really hard to know like which, <laughs> when you got too many tabs open, let's see if we got this. Okay. All right, so this is uh, Mass Website Builder on its new cloud server. Uh, we had to, you know, one of the things we've had to do uh, is make this thing relevant uh, for uh, higher levels of uh, PHP and, and things like that. Um, we also had to make it work with ImageFly, uh, which is a new product we have coming out, uh, integrate with our API for um, our spin text as well. And so basically Mass Website Builder is going to be sort of the centerpiece of all of our tools. Um, so you can kind of like, you know, use mass.page to access MWB. If you've already bought MWB as a, a legacy lifetime person, you should pat yourself on the back because this is going to be pretty valuable to you. Um, you'll start off as the pro level, which is an upgrade from what you originally purchased. So you will get additional, you know, um, good things that you'll have. You'll be able to download, of course, the pages like you've been able to do, but you'll uh, see these other things on here that you may want to take advantage of uh, as we sort of lay those things out. Um, so basically, uh, what I want to show you guys is a little bit of, a lot of people are like, well, what is Mass Website Builder and what is this thing all about? Um, and so if you take a look here, this is inside the control panel. Um, you have projects and you have domains. All right. And right now we have like two domains on here. But uh, as a cloud person, you're going to be able to ha attach much more um, domains and subdomains. So you can do a full root domain or you can do a subdomain. And like, in this like proudly.me that you're looking at right here, you can go ahead and change this to a different project immediately and be able to change it. We're going to change this a little bit because we want you to be able to have thousands and thousands of products projects. Uh, so this isn't the best way to do this, but um, you'll be able to just switch it. And then the website changes on the other, the other end. All right. But um, for some people, they don't, quite know everything that this thing does. It's it's a lot like Magic Page plugin in that there's a location field and there's a region field for like the state. And then there's like a service field. So um, in the you you have basically you can have multiple services on here. We don't have it set up for that right now. But if you take a look down here uh, on this about you can see location and services. These are variables. Okay. So you have like cities list 
Uh, this is going to give you five city lists. This is going to give you five just cities listed. This is going to give you the longitude, the latitude, the zip, region, and country. Uh, they'll all show up in those those places, okay? Then you have, um, you can put them into headlines and you can have spin text. So all of this spin text here, if you take a look, this is all done um, with Siphon AI, okay? And so all of this text came from Siphon AI and it will then create a page. See how it ends here? Um, and it ends here. So we have these slash ends just as a break point, but we'll, we'll be fixing that up. But this is all created spin text from Siphon AI. And we're going to have this integrated. So when you have Siphon, you can right click and just change the, the text, okay, to spin text. Uh, there is a way for you as well to add in a header, like JavaScript tracking codes and things like that into these pages as well. Uh, so I'll show you, so I'll show you that. Um, so the, anyway, this has got spin text in it. It's got headlines in it. And then I'm going to show you what the, the front end website looks like. All right. So we're going to go to the front and we're going to see this is attached to proudly.me. We click on proudly.me. Um, and let's see if you guys see this tab, share this in the tab. Okay. So this is the front end. So this is the res resolving of little London East of England test services that is the the uh the niche and then you go down here and you see the variables resolving you see little london test services you see this is a list view of those five cities this is the horizontal view of those cities this is the latitude longitude this is the region right here and this is this the town so these are just testing all right now, if you go here, you're going to see this is where the spin text is involved and the, the headline is involved. And I grabbed this article from um, uh, Article Forge, and then I rewrote it um, with spin with Siphon AI. So I put it into Siphon um, and just rewrote it and gave me all this text, and I put that text into, um, into the page. So let's see. I, you guys can't see me clicking around. Um, so anyway, so, so here it is, um, and it resolves the spin text for you. So on this, this page, once you put it in, um, it's, it's resolving that in the, in the page. Okay. So now if we go in and change the city to night's end, you'll see night's end and then you'll see the, everything else changes, right? And you'll see the text here is going to change because it's all spun, Right. And you change it again, and Peace Hill, and you have all of the, the power of all of this kind of stuff. So um, so taking from what Simon was talking about, uh, it's almost like you got Webflow inside of Mass Page, plug, Manor, <laughs> Magic Page plugin inside of Enterprise, kind of all into one. Um, and it's, it's not like, you know, all of this stuff is going to um, bring together a lot of the other tools that we have. Um, so this is like, um, instead of just MWB, it's kind of MWB cloud because this is all hosted on a cloud network and, you know, we, you'll be able to literally, um, clone a site, change the location and have the spin text create another site in less than 20 seconds. I hope you followed that. Um, this, this, you don't have to worry about plugins. You don't have to worry about themes. You can literally set up a site in seconds with this because of the fact that it does spin text, it does the fields, it does all of that stuff. Now, one other thing that um, I want to share with you is inside of here, it's also compatible with mass website or um, our mass page form. So like if you're in here and you go to the variables, um, let's see if you can see the variables here. Yes. Variables uh, over here, you can import in a CSV file that comes directly from our form. Okay, so all of the information you put in the form could then be put in. And we're also looking for a way to do it directly um, so, because it's all part of the same you know, system to be able to kind of send it directly to here uh, without having to import, export, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, all right, any questions on that? And then um, as far as this, like code integration, you have header code and footer code which is great. It also in, 
uh, the short codes will work with it. So you can put in your schema in here. You can put in your tracking codes, all of that kind of stuff uh, as well, which a lot of people, you know, um, would want to be able to do. And then you also have the SEO. You have, the, you know, you can set up page titles and these include short codes as well. So you can have all, all your pages have keywords, descriptions and titles and all of that. And then you can build multiple pages as well. We, we recommend pretty much doing a single page, um, you know, as far as getting, getting the fastest results because you can change that really quickly. But over time, we'll be able to make it so you can, you can change the entire campaign with multiple pages on it. We're just not fully there yet. Got a couple of questions, Daryl, just to highlight. Um, Uwe from uh, Top Ranking Solutions is saying, can MWB export HTML websites to upload onto Amazon AWS? So can you host them yourself? Um, yeah. So like, okay, so here we are with this website. You can download this website, all right? And then you have to put in what your site is going to be. So let's say uh, HTTPS forward slash forward slash. We'll put in mass.page, okay? And we're gonna download this. I haven't tested this, so this is this is because we, I haven't been focused on this part of it, but this should make all the, the files for us and download it for me. Um, do you see, there we go. Yeah, um, and that's your intention, isn't it? That's what you're designing. Yeah. So it, it, yeah. it, that's, that, so I think the answer is, is it yes? <laughs> you will be able yeah, to- let me, um, let me pull this over to another screen and show you what just was produced. Um, mm -hmm. so we can, uh, stop sharing here and I will share with this. Um, that's the whole intention is your pro plan will be allowing you to download the files and host them where you want to. So here's the files that, um, we just got, and it's going to, looks like it's going to open in explore. I don't want I think, I think for clarity, Darren, my understanding is, I mean, you're the developer, not me, but my understanding is it's going to be clouds and export. So you can either host That's it yourself. Right. Yes. Thank you. Or you yes. can buy the cloud plan and it runs on the clouds. You've got both options. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. Cool. So here is, um, let's see, hold on. I just lost it. Hang on. So if you look, these are the files, right? And um, so if I go to, this is download zip. Okay, what I have to do is is uh, unzip this puppy, extract all. And here's the website. And we're gonna right click and open with Chrome. And let's see what happens here. Um, you love a live demo, don't you, Daryl? Yeah, I do. Love I love it. breaking things live. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's, so I'll just do it while you're working on it, I'll do a couple of shout outs. So, uh, Magic Marcel is there. Good to see you, Marcel. Uh, Steven's saying just while uh, Daryl and MWB team. So, that, that sounds good. So, CX3P, Steven's good. Um, James is uh, he's going to ask, uh, how does MWB work with other types of national offers? Say, does it work with affiliate offers or cruise yeah. vacation sales or, or sure. other things? Um, sure, it can. Take a look, yeah. guys, here. Like, if you look inside this folder, now here's the services. Now you have all these individual pages made, and you have an index file for each one of them, okay? So all these pages are ready to go for all these cities. This is the miracle of MWB is that you'll be able to have all of these pages pop up and you'll be able to open them up and go into them. Um, so, oh, I, I hit uh, Dreamweaver, it must be. So, uh, just yeah. want to say that, yeah, a couple of, uh, Magic uh, Marcel is saying, uh, you guys are wizards. He's asking if you can drop Quick Blog into one of these as well. I don't know if you sure. can test Quick Blog in it, but- Yeah, you can do anything with pages. HTML. Yeah. HTML. Uh, yep. You can do anything with HTML in here as well. So, um, mm -hmm. I can show you guys a way to do that. Um, because you have total code access, um, to the, to the code, like somebody was saying that they want to use this to make the pages and then they'll, they'll adjust them, uh, afterwards if they want to. But the nice thing mm -hmm. is, is, uh, if you have the cloud version, you can keep changing it and, and it's hosted. It's dynamic, isn't it? It's yeah. immediate. Yes. It's yeah. ready to yeah. go immediately. 
Um, oh. Uwe is asking just a follow-up question. Um, he's saying that the exported files are PHP, not HTML. So he That's would right. need H PHP posting on AWS. Only HTML files are allowed. That's so, right. But we're yeah. working on it um, because mm -hmm. most of this PHP is also, you know, um, it's just HTML inside it. So um, we're working on a way that it'll just be HTML so that you'll be able to do it into okay. like AWS. Um, I, I haven't... Uh, we haven't figured that part of it because we've been worried about the other parts of this as well. So, yeah, who is saying he likes um, Amazon for SEO reasons? So it's the mm -hmm. the main power of Amazon. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, is <laughs> for what? <laughs> I mean, for the speed, ours is on cloud too. So, um, what's the difference? Like, is he talking about domain power? Is he talking about domain authority? Is that what he's thinking? Oh, about? okay, domain authority. To just, uh, well, he yeah, just says domain yeah. power. Don't, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I get what you're saying. Um, as far as the the uh, the power of the domain, um, I don't know how sustainable that is, but uh, yeah, um, yeah. Like in the sound of the HTML, anyway, so that would be that yeah, would be great. So yep, that's all yep, definitely. Good. I mean, that's the yeah. whole the whole goal of this. Um, and let me just un remove that. Um, but yeah, I mean, and the thing is, is um, these images will be also uh, processed with ImageFly on demand. So when you put them in, all right, you'll have your campaign uh, for that image, which will put in your keywords, your information uh, in spin text and all that kind of stuff. And so your images, when you put them into here, will be optimized as well. So there's some there's some key benefits, like I'm putting all my secret sauce into these pages. Um, so you know, you'll, you'll have that benefit. Um, if you get MWB, which isn't Good. fully available, the only way to get it right now is to get it through being an enterprise user of mass.page. Um, so if you're interested in that, um, go to mass.page and, uh, sign up as an enterprise. We still have at the top, the lifetime plan, which is available only because we haven't launched this to everybody. So it's still pre-sale. So you get the price, you know, it's going to be like $2,000 more once it's is launched. So the enterprise is the way to go. If, if anybody has any questions, just reach out to me inside the community or um, Daryl.chat. So the pages are lightning fast. Yes. Just um, following up on um, James's question, and I think this relates to design as well. So could you mm -hmm. use the MW for anything like affiliate, like other things? And, and I know, because you've shown me behind the scenes, you, you include a number of different page designs already. Mm -hmm. But my understanding yeah. is you can add new designs and configure things yourself as yes. well. Is that, is that true? Yes. So you so can we'll use be it, having... you can configure it, you can configure it, yeah? Yeah, we'll be having a way that, um, that uh, we'll be able to take your design and make it exclusive to you. So you have your own personal library of designs. Um, we'll be able to do that. I'm going to also see if we will be able to make it so we can convert a web flow into a single page um, design as well. I'll see if we can do that. Is this an extension of Mentorprise? No, this is my own product. Um, um, Mentorprise is, belongs to a guy named Paul uh, in Australia. And uh, I've been working with him and we built this mastermind and we do talk about Mentorprise. Um, I, I've been affiliate with uh, Mentorprise before I owned um, uh, mass website builder and so um, now that we have mass website builder obviously we're still gonna promote Metroprise, but uh, mass website builder has its own kind of space that it takes up um, as well so um, just want to you know give you guys the opportunity to understand see one other thing to keep in mind the differentiation is Mentorprise won't come stacked with my tools in it like um like image fly and siphon siphon does the spin text and it can do rephrasing right inside the builder. Okay. Um, image fly can make the images dynamic with text on them. It can also uh, put in the uh, IPTC data and EXIF data directly into the images so that they can help these pages to rank better. And it also can compress them uh, really, really small. So that they're really, really fast. Um, and that will even work for your downloads. So when you're downloading the pages um, in PHP now, but you know someday PH, uh, HTML, uh, those will be really, really great um, as far as the uh, the way that they download and they're hosted. 
Um, one other thing too is um, there may be a possibility because this, if we can get this to download into, um, um, uh, P, uh, I'm sorry, HTML, uh, you could use this to kind of author as a, just a page builder itself to author HTML pages with all of our processing and all of our tricks and tools and put them into some enterprise, put them into uh, other tools because you, you'll be able to just kind of do that. Um, but as far as the location pages and things like that, you're going to, you're going to probably want to keep it within the um, mass website builder community uh, in archi architecture. Yeah. So you guys are kind of see the picture. Um, I've been working on this for quite a while and you know, a lot of what you see uh, or a lot of what's, what's in MWB you can't see yet because we, we had to take things out to, to bring this onto the server um, because there was, there was a whole redo that we had to do. The, cold, the code that I got uh, was old. And so we had to make it um, work for today. <laughs> uh, the code was about six years old. And so um, because it had been uh, upgraded and upgraded and stuff like that. So we had to redo a lot of things uh, to make it secure and to make it as fast as it is right now. Um, Ian's got a question about costs. Are you ready to share any costs yet or not on cloud hosting? Not yet. Um, not yet. I'm open minded uh, to to getting some ideas from you guys. Um, we're going to have to do it in, in uh, blocks of sites. So let's say, for instance, um, for cloud, maybe you get 50 sites, 100 sites, 500 sites, and 1,000 sites, let's just say. And we, we sell them in little blocks, and then you pay per number of sites that you want to have uh, on here. And um, so we haven't come up with what the pricing would be, but the cloud is also going to have some other advanced uh, features as well. Uh, it'll be a bit like the enterprise plan because um, it does have you know, access to um, Siphon and ImageFly and things like that. Um, I believe the pro plan will also process the images. That's what I had intended. Um, all of the images will be processed so that they take up less space. And so that when you do convert over to cloud, um, if you go to the cloud version, it will be much faster uh, and nothing has to be like reprocessed. It'll be ready to go. I. We built ImageFly really to help out with this this product. Uh, once once we got a hold of this, I was like, I want to put ImageFly into this. Got a question here from James. Another question: Was his question answered? I think I thought we had answered it. Maybe he popped away for a cup of tea or something. But well, the what was, was his about, question? Well, it was about affiliates. Uh, can you use it for affiliate? And, and oh yes, said, yes, and and you can also change yes. the design and reconfigure it. And yep. I think the answer is yes. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you can use 100%. it for affiliate. You can use it for any kind of website you can imagine. Um, just imagine like the variables are important. Like. Um, what, it, what variables you have is for, these are currently using locations based on a zip code and things like that. Uh, what, well, let's just, I'm not going to get ahead of myself, but you know how I can make things work with other things besides locations. So, so I think the answer is yes. Maybe it's a watch this space, uh, James. Or maybe yeah, pick watch up this space, bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Watch this space. Um, Walter, hello, Walter. Good to see you. Uh, can you build MWB pages for a, a monthly fee for a business? Um, let me think on that one, Walter. Um, I don't have, um, I don't think I have any licensing thing that I'm concerned about at this point. So well, I'll, let me think on that, Walter. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Cool. Okay. Um, even yeah. three P's excited, been there from the start. Um, who is, uh, using, uh, to create pages for clients in many locations, Put on a location list of the database, create mass pages, put on AWS. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah. And to, and to answer James Powers' question, I think what he's referring to is the idea of not using locations, using yeah. some sort of variable. Um, the answer is yes, a hundred percent. Because what you can do um, is, uh, well, I'll, I'll, you can basically take any variable that you put in. Uh, and make that be the thing that um, that you're building the pages off of those variables. Okay, so I'll I'll explain it when it gets launched. 
how you'll be able to do that. Um, but right now it's, it's set up by based on locations because that's real easy for the typical mass pages. But the other variables could be, you know, uh, window manufacturers or, um, you know, brands or something like that. Yeah. And so you'll get into that. I mean, this is all the framework for all of that kind of stuff. Cool. Another question from Uwe. Um, can I use MWP yeah. or be a full pages located in Germany? Yep. Uh, we'll add other uh, countries if needed. Mm -hmm. That's no problem. Right now, it, it don't, doesn't have Germany, but uh, I don't see why we couldn't do that. Yeah, if there's demand, yeah. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Yep. Awesome. Okay, well, that's, that, sounds, uh, that sounds great. Anything else you want to say on ImageFly or... Any other bits that, um, any of the many nope. projects that you're working on? <laughs> yeah, so ImageFly, um, I don't have anything new to show this week. Um, there were some changes made on um, Siphon uh, that I might show here, if you don't mind. Let me just pop this up. And um, let's see here. So if you're a Siphon user... And uh, let's see, I think that we've given you guys access to it down here, Siphon Preview. Um, but you can like search something in here. So let's put in um, photography, uh, Simon. Oop. Say your name right. H -O yeah, I've worked with you for like over a year now. Yeah, uh, you can't I... spell my name. <laughs> H O G B E N. H. What is it? H. Oh, it's 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 fine. It's fine. You know, it's colleagues. I'm you know, I'm slow together, guy. You know. yeah. Is it B O N? B E N. B E N. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I, love it. I can't type. All right, so let's see what comes up for you. Okay, oh, I'm so... a bit worried. So what what might come up? Yeah. Yeah. So here's here's some pages. Okay. So let's just get rid of Facebook and Instagram. Let's take in. Simon, you, you've got some uh, yeah. SEO stuff in there, so I'm not quite sure what you're gonna gonna get, but so uh, yeah, go oh, fair All enough. Right. Yeah, see what it Let's says. just get rid of some of this junk. All right, so here we go. We're gonna fetch these URLs. Let's see what happens. Do you see my page? I don't think there's much content on these pages. I don't SEO my SEO site. You know, you know that. Yeah. Let's <laughs> take a look. So now it's it's going in and fetching these things, and it's gonna rewrite these uh, what it what it captures on here. Yeah. Um, because it's, there's, it's not a, uh, you know, if, if you right click, you can see oh, okay. now there's 10 different ways that you can say this particular line, right? Um, we're working on making the scraping work a lot better. This, this is just, uh, an experimental site, but if you go like to, um, back to Siphon AI, um, if you put in the content right in here, uh, it does a really great job. So if I go to, uh, Simon i've been because i'm picking on you today here um yeah i don't like really this. picking on myself Feel you know exposed, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. you know it you you need more content on your uh page <laughs> that's a home page you don't write the home page i've got a four thousand word venue page in right. there if you want to have a look at that under venues venues oh let me look for top that right guy. venues northeast venues? weddings northeast right, weddings let's... Let's take a that. look at that. Ooh, look at that magic page. Uh, look at that. All right. All right. There's loads so let's in there. Yeah. Take a look at this here. Oh, you got some little bit of spamming uh, going on there. You okay. mean spamming? This is page, <laughs> this is zipped up to page two. This is gold. Okay, gold, gold, gold. All right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and with we'll, we'll spin that puppy. It's called local relevance, Daryl. You might want to, you know, just look it up. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is what you hear when we're off mic uh look, look, exactly yeah, this. don's saying are we best i just i just work with a guy you know that's that's as far <laughs> as it goes yeah. oh my god what did um all right so here look at this is all mm, in spin, cool. spin text right um and then if you go to output oh i i'm sorry the editor you could you can right click and you can change it to whatever so this is like gives you a lot of different options or you could just take the uh the spin text and put it into your your website um but we're, we're keep we keep adding new features and testing them out and then this eventually this preview is going to replace the uh siphon ai in here is we just you know sort of trying to rebuild it from the from the ground up um 
this this tool here has a lot of stuff in it, um, but sometimes we're having some reliability issues with it. So we were trying to build it from the ground up that uh, just, you know, feature by feature uh, and see if we can improve it. So any feedback you want to give us on Siphon SpinText demo, uh, pr please feel free to uh, to get a hold of me. All right. Awesome. We've lost your audio there, Daryl. Oh. We, we lost you for you a second. Hear? I think you knocked yourself Can you off hear the me? stream. Can you hear me? Can hear you now. Yeah, you're back on. Okay. Yeah. Um, make sure that you guys get into the school community. It's go.ht slash SK to get a personal invite from me. Uh, we have 131 members in here. We've moved people over from the Facebook group, but we have about 700 people in the Facebook group. <laughs> so we still have a long ways to go to get people over here to our um, the school group. But this is what the one that's updated now. And uh, these are where the conversations are taking place is uh, school.com slash uh, mass page. And I will just throw this in here uh, to everybody. And uh, hopefully that uh, helps you out. So, oh, my goodness. What time is it? It it's is time the for time. the Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> wow. OK, so I'll um, I'll go ahead and prepare if you want to like a little bit recap what we've talked about here. Yeah, um, can uh, recap. Yeah, we've been talking about, um, I guess, this idea of creating styled pages that help conversions, particularly if you're doing mass page on a local site. Um, so it talks about how Mentorprise has a new web flow import function so you can style up the pages and uh, in the variables and create uh, pages that look like some of the other mass pages that I uh, showed you, which is pretty good. So I'm only just into this uh, in the past day or two, so uh, not a great web designer, but uh, even for me, I think it looks like a pretty uh, interesting way to change that. And then we continue the theme with uh, Daryl giving his uh, update on MWB, which obviously includes um, both uh, cloud and uh, um, exports for hosting. And there's some discussion about that and uh, a number of different templates that Daryl already supports as well, a number of different uh, niches. So it looks like Daryl's bringing together uh, MWB, um, ImageFly, Siphon, and the form, mass page tools form, to be able to create mass pages. So there's obviously quite a few things that we all, all use. Use. And obviously, there's Magic Page plugin as well, and uh, I use that too. So, um, yeah, quite an interesting discussion, and great to see everyone's uh, contributions and questions today. It was really good to have that uh, input. So, thank you very much for that. Good to see some new people as well as our uh, regulars. So, um, I know Lyok uh, had some questions about can we talk in the future about more domain stuff and um, uh, some things like that. So, we'll uh, aim to cover off those things. So, if you do have any suggestions, please get in touch. Please join the school community go.ht slash sk so you can reach out to me you can reach out to daryl and uh, chat about um anything mass page SEO related there um i i know uh rackus earlier on said he was hoping to catch up with you daryl about his domain that he won recently so i yep. think uh rackus if you do go through the school community and message daryl directly that would be a good way to get in touch with him i'd suggest yep. and um yeah, any other yeah, so any other names, uh, please um add them add them in now on the uh, the wheel of names. Daryl's uh typing away feverishly. Got a good uh, turnout today, so that's great to see. I was going to say on on Mentorprise, if people have any questions about Mentorprise, I'm always happy to have a, a catch up with people just to explain a little bit more about it. If people do want to buy Mentorprise and go through the link, go.ht slash ment. Um, if you buy through our link, um, I'm happy to give you a one-to-one -one and you also get the benefit of joining Daryl's um, uh, monthly uh, mastermind group mastermind. as well. So if you have yep. any questions about Mentorprise. And training as well. Yeah, yeah, training. Um, support, and all the benefit, training yeah. in the the back end so you'll be able to get access to that um and we're always like you know growing and learning uh with metroprise i think that it's one of those things where um it's it's a bit like sports car meets experimental jet meets yeah you know um magazine creating mass page slash you can build anything kind of <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a lot of testing but that is yeah. fair and that's probably yeah. come out in the last three weeks because i'm yeah. certainly testing different things got quite a few different campaigns a few new domains that i've uh, started on and, and this web for things another thing i'm going to um develop my own template and try and build that out so uh, mm -hmm. yeah i think there's more to come but the the webflow stuff is for me it's a bit of a game changer because the idea of being able to build you know a hundred thousand branded mm -hmm. landing pages you know and and you know, publish them in 15 minutes is pretty cool pretty cool to be honest so <laughs> so yeah uh we're gonna be playing around with all that stuff yeah for sure so um 
names. Uh, I'll just do a quick check uh, up just to make sure everyone's yep, got Colin. that. Did oh, we get – we've got Rackus in there. Rod is Rackus. Michael Norris. Uh, Rackus, yeah. Uh, Rod K, I have to make sure I have him on here. Yeah, he's not there, yeah. Yeah, Rod Nabila, K. Nabila. It was, Nabila was um, watching right from here. about quarter two. He was, they were the first um, – he or she, they were mm -hmm. still at the, uh, the beginning uh, of the show, waiting yep. in the lines. That was great. Good to have you on board. Marcel. Yeah. Got Marcel, yeah. Yep, putting people's names in. Uh, Steve Cruz is in. Let's put him in here. Hey, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Did, um, um, yeah, Uwe, yeah. I did yeah. My, get Michael on here. Um, thank you. All right. Uh, I think we're good. Uh, Jorge, I didn't, it's just saw uh, good stuff, but uh, I yeah, put in yeah. here. If you want to get away the somebody else, CX3C. Yeah, CX3. Stephen C. Yeah, he's there. Yeah, Stephen C. Yeah. yeah. Walter. Well, oh, Walter. Yeah. Walter. Thank you. Walter yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got James. Have we? James Power. He's James Power. He's, okay. Oh, no. You've got, yeah. Sorry. Apologies. You've got James Power number three. Oh. Um, Ian Cameron asked a question. Is Ian still with us? Don't know. I don't but, see. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. That looks like it, really. Uh, Michael yep. N. Did you get Michael N? Just somebody yep, a couple of sneaking yep. at the end there. Yep. Got yeah. Yep. Right. Okay. We've got a full house then. Looks like. All right. I'm gonna just awesome. gonna put Ian C on here yeah. and if he's willing to show up afterwards. All right. Mm -hmm. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and spin this wheel. Let's go ahead and flash the domains again. What's up for grabs? Uh, Woodflooringprices.com, discountcleanup.com, quiz bonus, uh, and waterheaterprices.com. If we go in and we take a look at Nameworth, uh, we have water heater prices at $14.50, quiz bonus at $17.50, discount cleanup at $14.50, and wood flooring prices at $12,500. And then if we go to Estebot, uh, I haven't looked at these yet. Um, let's see here. Okay, so we have some search volume here and four hundred eight dollars in water heater prices. Is that right? Um, and then the other ones, um, they don't have. They have SERPs, uh, but they don't have uh, mm -hmm. the value according to this one. And then if we went to um, GoDaddy. Take a look and see what GoDaddy says. GoDaddy always says the same thing. I really don't know why they, they even bother, but they're always like, this is a thousand. This is a thousand. This is a thousand. Um, yeah. So GoDaddy says quiz bonus 1352. Water heater price is 1304. Water heater or wood flooring price is uh, 1029. And discount cleanup 1160. Um, so that's what we got. Wheel of names. You guys ready? Let's double check, make sure that's, there's nobody yeah. else. No, that's it. Go. Nobody else. We're all good. Go. All right. Spinning the wheel. And let's see what it lands on here. Might be Walter. Oh, yes. It is well done, indeed Walter. Walter. Good job. All right, Walter. If uh, you're watching or listening, congratulations. You've got this. I know how to get a hold of Walter, too, so he can uh, reach out to me if he just uh, tuned out. But, uh, Walter, congratulations. Uh, you get to pick from one of the domains that uh, we have up for grabs on this Sunday Live as a special gift to you. Uh, wood flooring prices, discount cleanup, uh, quiz bonus, and water heater prices. All of these things can be used for lead gen, including the quiz one. Uh, I actually got that domain so that I could do a lead gen quiz uh, for social media. And then you give sort of like a bonus, like sort of a, um, a lead gen type of um, uh, lead magnet. And you give them that bonus for filling out the quiz form, and that creates a lead. So I think that, that there's some positive opportunities there. Congratulations, Walter McCray. Uh, if you are still there, just let us know. And if you want to reach out to me, you can do that. Or if you just want to tell me here which, which of those domains you would like to get. Uh, I'm getting a lot of reactions from all these folks. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for, for doing that. To jump in is uh, is wonderful. We really appreciate it. Yeah, Stephen Cruz is so <laughs> close. Thanks in time, fact, Steve. It, yeah, it, it, when I deleted out his name, it went to you. So Go you, back, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're the runner-up for sure. Um, 
So yeah, yeah I've just messaged Walt to uh, let him know anyway. So hopefully he'll pick that up and uh, yeah, be in touch congratulations with you very soon. To Walt. Yeah, awesome. And um, good, good. So um, last chance to ask any questions you might have about the things we've talked about or other things that are on your mind. Uh, feel free to ask some questions. Otherwise, we're going to end the show for today and uh, uh, call it a Sunday live. But uh, so many great things happening. If anybody uh, wants to get access to uh, big thanks, Walter says, thank you, my friend, for being a part of the show. And uh, reach out to me on the school community and we'll get you hooked up with the domain. He's choosing and- A. He's choosing A. Oh, a, right. I like oh, A. Big thanks. Okay, yeah, cool. there you go, let's, let's go back and see what uh, A was. Wood flooring prices. Yeah. Congratulations. Wood flooring prices goes to Walter. Reach out to me and we'll uh, get your, uh, it's on GoDaddy. So we'll go ahead and forward it over to you on GoDaddy. And same thing goes for Rod A. I think that you, we, we talked about, or Rod K. Uh, we talked about um, one of the domains for you and we'll get that over to you as, uh, as, as quick as we can here. Um, having puppies in the, in the mix and school vacation this week and everything else it's just been and then mwb and everything else it's just been just a, a few crazy. things just a your, few things, your domain yeah. is not going anywhere we're going to make sure it gets to you so um if it's if it's more than two weeks and it's on me don't worry about it we'll make sure you get it if it's more than two to four weeks and you just don't bother to claim it after we talk about it and, and then it sort of goes back into the pile to be given away again but uh, yeah, so congratulations right. awesome. everybody for um, being a part of this uh, because I think you're going to pick up some knowledge. Um, again, if you're interested in the enterprise plan to get access to MWB, the only way in is through being an enterprise user uh, of Mass.Page. So if you're already enterprise, congratulations, you're in good shape. Uh, if you want to be enterprise, reach out to me and we'll try to you know set, get the right plan or whatever for you to be that and like i said uh there is a way to get the uh lifetime right now but that will be closing very soon so um all right guys thank you so much for being here any other questions we're good no just people saying thank you yeah so yeah great to see you great to see everyone so yeah good show and uh, enjoyed that yeah see you next week i guess thanks see you guys next week bye bye now